So looking at this next question, uh, this is a, a problem where we're given a cubic polynomial and we're asked for what values in the closed interval does the instantaneous rate of change equal the average rate of change? Okay, so this relates to the mean value theorem. And so what's important is that we need to first of all state that we have that f is differentiable. Okay, f is differentiable because or is my eraser there? F is differentiable because it's a polynomial function. That implies that it's it is smooth and continuous. Okay? F is differentiable. So we can apply the mean value theorem here and find uh, potential values of x. Okay, so we can apply, we know that by mean value theorem. this point exists. Okay. So when does the instantaneous rate of change equal the average rate of change? Well, first of all, we should really sketch this diagram. Okay, let's factor this to find the zeros. f of x equals x, and then that's going to be 5x squared minus 1. So I'm just going to factor that to 5, root 5x five minus 1, root 5x plus 1. And then we get our zeros here, and uh, let's put 1 over root 5 here, and negative 1 over root, positive 1 over root 5 over here. And so the graph's going to look something like this. It's going to go off here, and we're talking about some intervals. That the scale is not quite right, but okay. So we're looking for in the interval zero to three, we want to know the where the instantaneous rate of change is equal to the average rate of change. Okay. So we want to find out where the slope of this. Okay, I'm going to calculate the slope here. This is three and that's going to be three times three cubed times five which is going to be 135 minus three so 132 okay so this is my average slope is going to be equal to 132 over three which works out to be uh What's that going to be? Looks like 40, slope of 44. Okay, so our slope is 44 for that, for that average rate of change. So we want to then see where this instantaneous rate of change, we know that occurs, we know it's got to be somewhere, right? Maybe somewhere in there, we don't know. But we know that exists, so we're going to use, uh, knowing from the mean value theorem, we're going to calculate the, slope function and then we're going to see where that slope function is equal to 44. Okay, so then we solve that equation. We get x squared is equal to 3, x is equal to plus minus root 3. Well, we're only in this interval here, so we're just going to eliminate the negative value. So at x equals root 3, we know that we have an instantaneous rate of change that is equivalent. Root three, I think, is somewhere more over here. Okay. So our instantaneous rate of change is going to match our uh, average rate of change, and that's the mean value theorem.